Hey, it's Kylie Cat here, and um, I just thought Anika looked so cozy um, in this. She's in her car seat um, with the cover on, and what I ended up doing was at one point just um, putting the blankets over her, um, and to me, she just looks super cozy. Um, of course, Snuggles the Bear is here with her, and I was just going to show um the things that i was given um we went to the doll show this weekend um i had planned on doing this video on monday but i had to get up at i went to bed probably midnight on sunday and got up at 3 a.m and um basically went straight to work and then yesterday um something happened where I just was, it, it just wasn't a good day for me. So, um, today, uh, we're, we're going to be able to do the, um, you know, what the things that I was given at the doll show on Sunday. And it was just a really, really fun time. Um, I realized after I put up the video that I forgot to link everybody else's videos in the, in the, um, description below. So I'm actually going to do that at the end of this video and um, I'm going to add one because I did not know that, that Jacqueline had a channel on YouTube. So I'm going to link that one too. So that will be um, Katie's channel. It will be um, Jacqueline's channel. It will be Renee's channel. Um, and Kimberly was there as well. Although she wasn't in it, my video. Um, I do, she does, she did put up a, a really fantastic, um, setup of, you know, her, her viewpoints on the doll show, um, with her baby and I'm, I just watched her video and oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, hon. Um, I'm not going to get the name of her baby right. Um, so I apologize, but I will link Kimberly's um, video, um, version of the, the Kane doll show as well. Um, so everyone's, everyone's video is going to be that we're linking here, um, except for Jacqueline is going to be their version of the doll show, um, which, you know, everyone looked at the things differently. So, you know, even if you saw some of the same booths in these videos, um, you get everyone's different viewpoint on what happened. Um, while we were there. So that was, um, that's always great to get like different people's views on it. So, um, um, Dina was at the doll show. Um, but, um, she, she is a subscriber currently. I'm hoping that she'll make a video soon. Um, but she actually brought me a couple of things and this was one of them. Um, this is a blue jumper, um, that we are both hoping will actually fit Chicote. Um, we'll probably have to change out the shirt because there's no way that this neckline is going to fit him. So it was definitely made for a doll. Um, but I just love this, um, I believe it is considered an applique, um, with the little train on it and then ABC with an apple, a bear, and a carrot. Obviously corresponding with A, B, and C. So um, we're going to try to fit this on Chakotay a little bit later. Um, I do have a shirt that I can put on underneath it. Um, I got it from, I want to say H&M. Yeah, H&M. They have some really neat... Um, things that would go with several different things. So, um, something else that I got, and I'm going to show you the way that I opened it, was, and this is also from Dina from Love My Boys, was, um, the first thing I saw was this pair of pants with the train on the bottom. And then, um, it's got trains on the feet. It's a navy blue, um, solid pair of pants. And the trains are in just um, silver, white, and blue with the um, the steam coming off the, the um, I don't know if they could, they don't call that a hood on a train, but it's coming off the front of it. Um, so 
obviously for my little boy Chicote, and the um, onesie that comes with it. Um, it's like that baby blue, um, and the trains are going across tracks, and they're going um, across the the onesie in um, what would be kind of horizontal lines, like almost like a striped shirt um, with a little bit of space in between each stripe with um, like a blue sky um, clouds and the train is um, the same the the um, engine of the train is the same color as on the on the pants and then it's got green and dark blue um, um, cars on it um, and it doesn't look like a passenger train it actually looks like a um, what would you call that um, Oh, wow. Um, kind of coal cars type. Um, anyway, um, cars that you would carry stuff in rather than as an engine or as a passenger train. And then, um, the bib that goes with it. Um, the bib is white outlined in navy blue and the train is exactly the same as on the pants and on the, the, um, onesie and, but it's got added and choo-choo train, um, words, um, see that is embroidered on there and the outline of the train is actually embroidered as well. So that was a really nice gift. Um, really thoughtful because um, Chakotay is my my train baby. And then, um, sorry about dropping the camera here. Um, she also got me, and this is something that I was looking at when I first saw it. It's at Halloween. Um, the Love Bandit. It is a... Um, raccoon holding a heart that says love and then bandit written, uh, written underneath um it is all gray um and the raccoon is just a um that's a screen print um on it the raccoon is um in the the heart and everything that is all screen printed on there and it's something that i had thought to get um, for myself, but I never got around to it. So really, thank you so much, Dina, because I really wanted that and I kept forgetting to get it every haul or every Valentine's Day and eventually they're not going to have it. And then, um, got some shorts as well. Um, these will be for Kirk because his theme is dinosaurs. Let's see. Did I get that? Okay. So I was actually showing you the back. This is the front. It's got fake pockets. Um, and it's in uh, kind of a dark tan, um, maybe even bordering on a, a army green with brown dinosaurs um, just kind of placed all over um, the, the shorts front and back. So, and then um, she also got me some dinosaur uh, mittens, um, hand mitts to go on Kirk and a little dinosaur pacifier which is really cute it's um, got the that beautiful green that I love um, with a blue handle and then a dinosaur on the on the pacifier excuse me sorry the dinosaur is green with um, orange ridges along its back so I just have to say it's probably a stegosaurus um, so I will just need to modify that to get that um, on him. And then she also got me some pants, which um, if they don't fit Kirk, um, there I, I do see a bigger boy baby in my future. Um, still have no idea. Um, what sculpt it's going to be, who I'm going to get doing, but at some point I am going to get a bigger boy baby that will actually fit these. 
So I thought I had the boy baby picked out, but then I found out he was a lot smaller than I thought he would be. So um, this was a goodie bag that um, I got from Gigi's um, Baby Doll Nursery. And this has advertisements in it. Um, you know, several little things. Um, there's Gigi's Dolls and Cherries Teddy Bears Ink. Something for Everyone, actually located in Chicago, Illinois. Um, it has their website, www.gigisdolls.com, and a phone number and an email address, and it actually even gives the hours. Um, on the back, and I know Kimberly read this in her channel, so I'm not going to go through everything here, but um, at the bottom it does say Doll Appraisals and Doll Hospital. Um, and it says that they do ship worldwide, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, PayPal, and Layaway. So that's actually really cool. Um, let's see, which one can I get out of here next? They included some candy in here, um, just some breath mints and Tootsie Rolls. Okay, so this has, um, talking about the National Doll Festival in Phoenix, Arizona, um, which I won't be able to make it to. In Arizona, that would be just way too far. And then they got pictures of different types of dolls. Um, it says a sampling of what you may find in Phoenix at the 31st annual National Doll Festival. And it's got different um, booths and vendors that are going to be there. And let's see. Um, the Wilmington, Ohio Doll and Betty Doll and Bear Show. Um, you can always look that up on their website. It looks like it's got www.wilmingtondollshow.com. So if anyone who watches my channel is interested in going. And then let's see what else can we pull out of here. It was just basically a goodie bag. Just advertising a bunch of different things that happen. Eden Springs Park. At the House of David. Um, it looks like it's got... This is in Benton Harbor, Michigan. So um, it's just kind of an advertisement for a place that you can go on a vacation. Um, including miniature train rides. Um, I've gone to... Cannot think of it off the top of my head right now. I will have to talk about it again in another video. But there is a place that um, my friend Corey and I go to in Michigan um, that has real train rides, like big trains with a big track. Um, I've been to the one up in Green Bay. Um, this one was even bigger. Um, so that was really cool. Um, this one talks about the Kane County Doll Show, talking about the one that we already went to April 29th, and then another one on September 23rd, um, and tells where it is and when it is. And, oh, dropping stuff. Oh, well, the cats will pick it up. Um, this one talks about the Neighborville Doll and Teddy Show, um, which is going to be June 10th at the Marriott Hotel, um, which was the last doll show that we went to. Um, and so we'll probably be going again. The Grant-A-Wish Fund Fashion Doll Show and Sale is located in Livonia, Michigan, Livonia, on Sunday, April 14th, in 2019. Um, so yeah, they do include like a lot of different advertisements for different things that happen, um, down the road. Um, Gigi's Dolls and Teddy Bears, um, it was a $5 off any purchase of $35 or more coupon that we got in that little bag. And then another advertisement for, um, Gigi's Dolls and Teddy Bears. Um, with pictures of the different dolls that they have available. So if we get kind of up at the top here, um, just kind of going down, it is just different pictures of um, mainly antique 
um, dolls. Some of them are more, more baby dolls. Other ones are more dolls that you would put on a shelf on a stand. And they're almost all antique in the pictures. So if anyone wants more information on that, um, I can definitely forward that information along. Um, let's see, I did pick up my own advertisement. Um, this one is Dollalicious Doll Show and Sale in Madison Heights, Michigan. Um, so they have a show, excuse me, my hand is getting sore. All right, so they do have a show May 20th and November 4th. Um, May 20th, I'm actually going to be in Michigan, so I'm seriously considering actually going to this. It'll be right after Motor City Comic Con, so I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, I might be really tired. Um, but I'm, I, and I had hoped to go, not last year, but the year before, and I didn't make it. Um, then they have another one advertised for Fort Wayne, Indiana, March 25th, and March, or on September 2nd in, um, Fort Wayne, Indiana, which I wouldn't be able to make it to, but, uh, I'm going to see if I can make it to the one in Madison Heights, Michigan in May. So, um... I'll let you know if I'm going to be able to make it or not. And then um, Katie gave me a, a little um, Valentine type bag. It's mostly clear cellophane with hearts all over it. Um, with a Passy Clip that is red. Um, I cannot remember what they call this material. But it's um, kind of a frilly um, ribbon. Um, with a white bow on it um, and the rest of it is all red even down to the red snap um, and that's going to be for Caitlin because Caitlin's favorite color is red and it's got a passy one of the passies I've actually been wanting to get but haven't gotten yet um, it's kind of it's kind of a vintage design um, but they do still sell these in the stores um, with the green handle um, Oh, they might actually not sell them in the store. I might have seen it on um, Doll Fan or something. Um, with the white, it, it's it got the round um, part that goes up next to the face with the with um, little holes in it. And then the latex um, nipple. So, um, I'm sure Caitlin will love that. And she also got Caitlin a red flower bow to put in her hair. It's very frilly and very pretty. Um, and with as small as the band is on it, I'm sure that that will actually fit her really well. Not like when I have to fix the, the size of the, the, um, the ribbon to fit their head. It actually is really pretty. I'm going to have to try to talk her into, um, into putting on frilly um, which she does for me. It's really cute when she does. So, um, that was things that people actually gave me. Of course, I did mention in my previous video, but in case you haven't looked that up yet, um, Kimberly gave me my, my Snuggles teddy bear. I am so happy. I've wanted him ever since I was a kid. I knew my parents wouldn't be able to get him for me. I thought I'd never get him, and then I saw him at the show, and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted him, and... I looked for him at this show, um, and I, apparently Kimberly got to him before I did. So, thank you so much, Kimberly. I really, I really do. I, I love him. He's awesome. So, um, that concludes this video for today. And just want to remind everyone, even with my bad day yesterday, you know, the thing was, you know, that... I knew at the end of it that everything would work out okay. Um... It does. It just was one of my off days. So just remember, you know, things, things can turn out better than you thought that they might. So you always kind of, kind of keep looking forward because if you start looking back, you're not going to be able to move forward. So, and that's my thoughts for the day. 
Like I said, I will link um, the channels that are available in the description below. And thank you for watching my channel.